I know what you're thinking, punk. Question is, can I get Wolverine before he turns me into shish kebab with those claws? Bum bum. Seeing as how these claws are adamantium, the strongest metal known, and can slice through vanadium steel like a hot knife through butter, buddy. You gotta ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining me here today as we get to talk about one of my favorite subjects, comic books. My name is Jose, I love comic books, I love talking about them, I love sharing them with you. Feel free to follow me on social media if you would like, links are in the description below. I've also posted a link to the Marvel fan site that'll have plot synopsis and character bios for this issue. We are looking at Origin, the second volume, so Origin 2. Continuing Wolverine's origin. Um, there's only been two volumes. I have covered the first one. Um, have a playlist on it. So here we go with the second one. This is a different team. And Richard Eisenhoff does not color this one here. Uh, uh, Karen Gillen, Adam Kubert, and then Frank Martin is the, um, the colorist. This is done very similar to the first one in which it's pencils and then digitally colored here. And this issue really doesn't have a lot. Uh, just cool Adam Kubert art, which is uh, always great. This is uh, one of the variants. Uh, only the first issue had variant covers. Nowadays, everything has uh, variant covers, but this is the only one here. This is Scotty Young um, with one of those... Um, <laughs> funny covers here and this wolf says we really need to teach him about personal hygiene and the other one is like yeah and clothing so then um deadpool and then salvador la roca and then this was uh for some uh i forgot what uh, hastings this was uh, for Hastings with all the Deadpoolish. So I don't know whether the Deadpool movie was coming out around that time. Um, I believe this is from 2013. Uh, so it had been quite a while before um, stuff. But this one gives us at least the other one I criticized because it didn't tell us anything. But this one does. So it's 1907. Um, it was the end of the age of the great empires of steam. The clock of mankind ticking towards dreadful war the entirety of the civilized world knew it the mistake of the civilized man being to believe his world was the world entire this is a story about how civilized man came to know of another world and the man who lived there this is a story about the man one called logan who had chosen to live far away from civilization and those who disturbed him it's a story of wolves and bears it's a story of animals. So, all right. So, we are in Canada. And we got this little deer. It does look like it is inked. So, I thought it was penciled. But it does look like there's some uh, inked uh, portion. So, these wolves are going for this uh, little deer. And this little deer is trying to make a run for it. But, of course, it is not and wolverine catches it and so of course this is part of wolverine's pack so they gotta eat and so um here we go a little bit of words to make us slow down here uh, but like i said this really this particular issue isn't too much of a a story here um but believe it or not it's actually gonna be a little tragic here so um, Grayscar, the wolfish man. Grayscar hunts with his three sons and one just as close. So, here we go. The pack is a family. This is what binds them together. So, beautiful art here. Um, and so, um... I've, I don't know. Just don't get attached here. I'm so... Um, golly. So let me make the double page uh, a little bit bigger. So you see that in the cave, um, there is uh, a mom and her cubs here, and they bring in the deer so everybody can eat. And then, um, he sees 
this uh, lone wolf. And so he watches and waits. And so Wolverine's there protecting uh, this, uh, these from him. So, um, and again, another double page spread as he's going with the, with the wolves here. But something, he sees something here. And what we got is a bear. Um, this here a white bear you look at these uh red eyes here now this is one of the things that irks me about the storytelling back in the day this doesn't need to be a splash page i always thought uh this appears to be a bullet perhaps um the the splash pages seems to be a lazy way um to do storytelling um and big splash page. So sometimes with double, there's a lot of double page spreads um, done that really have nothing in there. They're just, I I find it laziness here. So, um, and so the bears kind of run away from the bear, and so Wolverine decides, hey, let's let's see what I see or what I can find out. And so we got another double page spread here. Um, as Wolverine kind of just looks at the bear here. Um, so, uh, was he shot? That That's a bullet in here. So, this poor thing uh, looks like somebody tried to kill the bear. So, the bear is probably not uh, doing very well. Which is probably why what what's going to happen is going to happen. So, in the creation of a hero, you have to have tragedy. Um... Batman had tragedy. Spider-Man has tragedy. The Punisher has tragedy. Captain America, to a degree, had tragedy. It was personal tragedy as opposed to, you know, they killed his parents or anything like that. But heroes, or when heroes are um, fictional, okay, um writers go through great length to try to give the hero a motivation there there has to there has to be some kind of hook to to get like oh, the, this person dresses up in costume because this happened or this happened i think wolverine um is one of those characters that they give him so much tragedy so here we go um, and there's a blizzard there, um, and suddenly look at this blood and the bear here has killed the pups. Oh my goodness. His family all dead. Is that not sad? And look at this, all the red here for all the blood and then the two pups in there. I told you guys this is going to be... Um, <laughs> it's going to be very tragic. So this is a big uh, double page spread. But I'm not going to... Actually, I'm not going to even bitch about this double page spread. This one actually should be. The fact that he's still holding these cubs in here. I mean, and Wolverine is just... Uh, this 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 issue is actually is quite tragic. Especially if you love animals... Um, you know, and how he felt toward that pack, man, oh man. I mean, I'm like, golly, can't the, the, the stuff that this, particularly Wolverine, when you think about characters that, you know, Batman has had in throughout his career, quite a few things. But even then, when you think about it, Jason Todd, who ended up dying was brought back. I mean, other than his parents, Bat, Batman's just on a crusade peter parker has had quite a, a few things but again um it, it's uh wolverine though they seem to somehow marvel takes wolverine and really takes him to the ringer wolverine has had so much crap done to him but um <laughs> he's a huge fan favorite i mean i love wolverine he's uh Thor and Wolverine are my two favorite Marvel characters. So, 
And so here we go. Knocks Wolverine out. Wolverine fighting with the claws. Here, uh, Bear hits him. Uh, you can see his claws broke. Here comes the bear. This looks like a person, uh, but that's all right. Um, and fighting and Wolverine just... And here this bear spits something out. And um, he walks away and then collapses. And look at all this red. This is so freaking wow. And the bear has died. Of course, we get a double page spread just for this. Sorry, that's just regular. And then a double page just for this here. So, all right. And now comes the gray wolf here to take his chance here. And he's going to eat from the bear here. And, oh, tragic. And look at poor Wolverine. His life was over. The life he had come to these forests to find. A second life born out of the ashes of the last. He had lived as a man. He had lived as a wolf. He, as both the wolfish man, found only woe. So, oh, don't you feel bad for Wolverine? And so, here we go. Um, this is a story of wolves and bears and animals to be continued. So this is going to be a five part as, and it's going to be every Friday. So this is only five parts. Like I mentioned, um, also the first six, um, there's a playlist for those. And then, so now I'm starting with the second volume. So we'll go through these for the next five weeks. So Wolverine, the origin, uh, uh volume two, I guess you could say, or origin two, uh, um, Kieran Gillian and Adam Kubert like, and subscribe. I do thank you for listening. Um, hopefully this story wasn't too gut wrenching for you. It was gut wrenching for me. I was like, Oh no, not those poor little wolves, but hey, tragedy. So, all right. Like, and subscribe. I do thank you for listening. Goodbye.